joining me again for another night of Facebook Live. I also want to recognize those that catch me on the replay from YouTube and or SoundCloud. It is a blessing to be here with you tonight as I am your host, and Tricia Bray Smith, author, educator, and public speaker. It is one of those typical nights to where uh, you may hear quite a bit of noise in the background. Um, the kids decided that they were not uh, just quite ready for bed today. It's been quite an exciting day for them. Nonetheless, we're going to tarry on. I hope that all of you guys that are logging on with me tonight have had a productive day and have found a reason to laugh and smile and just embrace just being alive and well tonight. So as you guys are joining me, please go ahead and like and share this video. Like and share this video for all those that are logging on with me. Also, give me a shout out and a comment in the comment section just to let me know that you are there. As you can see from the topic tonight, uh, I'm talking about I'm not satisfied yet. I am not satisfied yet. Hey, Keisha, I hope you haven't found, found it in your heart that you're satisfied yet. Um, so this is what we're talking about tonight. Um, tonight has been um, one of those nights to where I've kind of struggled with the topic a little bit. But nonetheless, we're going to get through this with your help and your support and your encouragement. I just appreciate you taking out time out of your day to be here with me each and every night. So uh, today I had to travel to uh, Broken Bow. I had to travel to Broken Bow today as, uh, you know, we're getting ready to decide what we are doing uh, for the upcoming school year. Because we know that uh, many of the districts, many uh, of the cities and the states are getting ready to decide whether or not if opening um, the schools back up in the public school setting on site is going to benefit um, the community or the school or the population of students that we serve. So I had to go in for a training today. So as you guys know that I turned my uh, vehicle into a university. So again, uh, it's been a um, good uh, four or five months that, that I haven't had to travel uh, to work. And so it's, it's been rewarding for me in that I could sit at home and study and, and do what I do uh, throughout my day here from my kitchen table. But today I had to get in the vehicle and drive. And uh, so that's that two-hour commute that I do. And, uh, you know, my vehicle at that point has again turned into uh, my university. So I'm sucked into my world sucked again into my world there's peace there's quiet there's time for reflection and i tell you what it hit me pretty hard it it hit me pretty hard to the point that i was literally in tears driving down the road i was just thinking why do i do what i do why am i trying to figure this thing out why do I keep, hey Karen, how are you honey? It's good to have you with me tonight. Why do I keep trying to figure out my place in this great big old world? And it hit me. And it is because I am not satisfied yet. I am not satisfied yet. The only thing that gives me a little bit of comfort is that I know or that I realize if today is the last day that you guys see me here on this platform or if today is the last day that I breathe my last breath, I have left a piece of me here in this world. So that means my voice has been heard over the wide range of topics and, and 
issues and, and cares that we have every day. So that is the only thing that um, gives me some comfort. But guys, I realize after looking at all that I do and all that I've done and all the things that I have co accomplished over the years, I'm still not satisfied. And you know what? As long as there are women out there hurting, as long as there are families out there being torn apart, as long as people have to wake up and struggle with their demons every day, as long as people are going hungry, as long as there are homeless people, as long as there are children that are being abused and neglected, as long as uh, we have young men and women that abuse their bodies and, 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 and have addictions and things like that, as long as all people are being uh, manipulated and controlled, as long as all this stuff is going on, I don't think I'd ever be satisfied. And this is why it's so important to me that when I sit here night after night in front of this camera that I educate somebody, I empower somebody, and I encourage somebody. And I know I'm not the only one that is doing what I'm doing, but guys, there is plenty of work to be done. I can't sit still. I can't stop doing what I'm doing. I can't stop speaking to you every night. I can't stop writing books. I just cannot do it. Because there are people out here that are living in their pain, suffering in their traumas, day after day after day after day after day. And it is my hope that if I can sit here every day, if I can keep writing on a piece of paper and publishing in a, in a, in a, in a, cover of a paperback or, or on a uh, digital or through an audio, somebody at the point when they're ready to give up or at the point when uh, they, they tried everything else and this is their last hope and, and, and they feel like there's no hope and that they're lost and they're looking for a direction, it is my hope at that point somebody will hear my voice. It is some my hope that somebody will see my face. It is my hope that somebody will read a word through one of my books or, or see one of my shirts or, or, or something. Or, or, or maybe someone has heard something I said that they can share with them. It is my hope that more of us can get to the point to where we are on the side of healing. People are hurting. People are hurting. People are hurting. And in return, they are hurting other people. And when they're hurting other people, I don't believe that they're hurting them intentionally. I think that there's something that resonates in them that causes them to think back and triggers them to, to relive and to re-traumatize and continue to flick their emotions and their pains and their traumas onto other people. And guys, if we do not break this cycle, if we do not break this cycle, where are we headed to? We should be more now drawn to one another, trying to help one another heal, trying to help one another realize that we are not alone in this. Reaching out to someone, these, these elder peoples that are in their house uh, eating cat food and dog food because they can't afford uh, uh, another kind of meal to eat and survive and they're depressed, can't hardly afford their medication. You know, in, in a house that's hot, no air conditioning circulating, they're afraid to go outside. This is the kind of world that we're living in. And, and, and many of us, 40s and 50s, 
we're, we're, we're having to uh, go to a job to where we don't feel safe or we don't feel like uh, we can grow or, or uh, we feel like we stuck. We don't feel like we're living up to everything that we're capable of living up to. And we, we seem hopeless sometimes. It seems like we want to do right. Seem like we want to love right. Seem like we want to do better. But then at the same time, something continues to draw us away from the way that we would go. So no, I'm not satisfied, guys. I'm, I'm not satisfied when I look around and I see our men and women eating themselves to an early grave. And I mean literally eating ourselves to an early grave. Putting harmful things in our bodies. And it don't have to be of substance. I'm talking about the sugary, fatty stuff that's killing us. That continues to clog up our arteries. I'm talking about the things that continue to, to cause our blood pressure to be out of control and our blood sugars out of control. And our kidneys are now failing us. We're, we're eating ourselves into early graves. So, so I can't be satisfied. I can't be satisfied when I look and I see our young women and our young men looking for somebody that they can look up to. Somebody to just reach out and say, hey, you can make it. Or somebody to reach out and just put their arms around them and say, I've been thinking about you. I hadn't seen you in a long time. These are the things that matters, guys. These are the things we should be focused on. Think about it ourselves. When was the last time we really saw somebody that resonated with us and put a smile on our face and think about that moment or that feeling that you embraced and, and it just felt so good to know that somebody was there that loved and appreciated you. Or think about somebody saying those words, I appreciate you, I love you. So many things we take for granted. So many things that we fail to say. So, so I can't be satisfied. And I'm not and it brought tears to my eyes to, to even think about the opportunities that I may have missed. I may have missed an opportunity to take my girls in my arms and, and just love on them and let them know that I love them and that I'm proud of them. And in spite of all that's going on in their lives, I'm still here. I may have missed an opportunity to see a sister of mine to, 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 to love them and embrace them and let them know I appreciate them and how much they mean to me. I may have missed an opportunity to see a brother of mine and, and just let him know that I see you. I see you in all that you do and all that you're trying to do. And in the midst, when, when things come at you and you still stand, I see you. These are the things that are important. I might have missed an opportunity to tell my husband every now and then that I love you and that I appreciate everything you do for me. These are things that are important to hear. These are things that are important for other people to, to know that in spite of all they try to do, they're still getting knocked down. But there's someone in your corner that's cheering for you. There's someone in your corner that wants to see you succeed. And that somebody is me. That somebody is me. I am not satisfied with what I've done. And I've done some good things. I've done some great things. But yet, in spite of all that, there is still so much more work to do, guys. Still so much more. It is my hope that the words you hear from my mouth are healing to you. Not 
to hurt you. It is my hope that when you see my face, it is a face of warmth and of love and compassion. That is my hope. It is my hope that when you read the pages of my books, that it resonates with you and it begins to connect with you and causes you to desire something different. And that it begins to stir up that foundation in your life and begins to create a, a shift in your mind. That is my hope. But even after the words I speak, even after the words that I write, even after seeing me here night after night after night after night after night, I still have not done enough. It's still not enough. It's still not enough. I'm not satisfied. I don't know that I can be satisfied until all of you are in a place to where you're okay. I don't believe that everybody is okay. I don't believe that everybody has found their voice yet. I believe that there are some people still hiding in the shame of their traumas. I still believe some people are still hiding behind the labels of their circumstances. I believe that. I, I, I believe that people are still being knocked down day after day after day. And they just need somebody to, to stand with them and know that, hey, you can make it. Somebody to cheer for them on the sideline. I believe that there's some man or woman out there that just needs somebody to, to really see them. To, to, to really see behind the smile. To really see behind what you see. Somebody to look beyond the surface of a man, beyond the exterior, and really look into the heart to see their pain, to see their tears, tears that they cry, to see what they deal with from day to day. I believe that. And guys, if me being here, sharing with you my battles, or, or the issues that I deal with or that I struggle with, if, if, if me being here helps you, then this is right where I need to be. This is right where I'm purposed to be. Because I'm not satisfied. I can't be satisfied knowing that my sister or my brother is in pain or that my sister and brother are struggling with issues, that I may be able to say something to help them along the way. So I know that what I do is purpose. I'm living in it. But I'm not through yet. There's so much more to be done. And it is my hope that as you heal and as you're you're helped and as you're you're overcoming that that you're doing the same for those people in your household or those people in your family or those people in your job that is my hope that is my hope words of encouragement can be one of the greatest gifts that you give a person it helps us grow miss karen i couldn't have said it better myself but i couldn't have not said that better myself and you know what? Words don't cost us anything. Doesn't cost us anything. Doesn't cost us anything, but it can make the greatest impact on the lives of somebody. Chantrell, how are you, darling? Glad you are here with me tonight. Our words, a simple I love you, a simple I was thinking of you, a simple, it's so good to see you. That's what you guys do for me. I can't see you. But when you put a comment there, when you send a heart, when you share the videos, when you do that, that resonates with me. I get emotional sitting here sometimes just thinking about it. 
You never know who's thinking about you. You never know what battles people are up against. People are out here for real, for real, with real issues, with real pain, with real addictions, with real trauma, with real betrayals. It's real, guys. And until we can get past looking at the exterior man and the behaviors that they have and really get to the root of what the issues are, I can't be satisfied. I'm not. I'm sure glad you're good, baby. I'm glad you're good. Yes, ma'am. Together we're going to do this thing. We're going to do this thing, guys. I said I wasn't going to hold you long. I just want you to know that I love you. For each and every one of you that are looking at me tonight. For each and every one of you that's going to catch this replay. For each and every one of you. If no one else. If you never hear anyone else tell you. If you never believe what anyone else tells you, know that I love you and I see you and my thoughts and my prayers are with you day after day after day. And I'm not satisfied. I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to keep pressing. I'm going to keep showing up. I'm going to keep writing. I'm going to keep speaking it. It is what it is. Until I can see you healed. Until I can see you overcome. Until I can see you being your best you. I'm not going to be satisfied. I'm going to keep doing what I do. God bless you all. I love you. And I'll see you right here again tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Good night, everybody.